Good morning, everybody. Back on the trail, farmer's wife dropped us off. Uh, the rest of the gang, they're going to be slack packing and staying at hotels the next couple days. Uh, Lucky Togs, Mark, and I are heading into Rutland, Vermont, climbing this huge hill, which is why I'm not moving right now. Uh, last night, started thinking about home. I do miss everything about being home right now, but the other side of me is really, really enjoying being out here. Um, just love the lifestyle so we only have to average from today on 16.8 miles a day and any extra miles we do are just bank miles that we can use for a Nero or a zero a bad weather day whatever we want to do with it uh, I think this group can definitely uh, do some extra miles we're doing 19 today and then 23 is all the way to Rutland so yeah gonna have some bank miles especially in the whites I uh, got my new shoes and I got a knee brace. Nothing's really bothering me as far as uh, you know injury, but a um, little discomfort going up and down hills under the kneecap. It's just they're getting sore. It's been 1,500, 1,600 miles now actually. Last night I was thinking about home and how much I miss everything about it, but I really want to slow this trip down because I know once it's over, it's all I'm gonna be thinking about is how wonderful and how epic of an adventure I had out here and I have definitely decided that within the next five to six years I will be on the PCT doing a through hike and then the following year I want to do the CDT I think it'd be an awesome experience and great story you know to attempt a triple crown I like this too much this is wonderful it's so much fun out here having a blast so, lots of things to look forward to coming up. But right now, focusing on Katahdin, it's go time. It's about 11 o'clock. Got 13 miles to the shelter, and I'm almost at the top of this hill that I've been climbing all day. Whew, I see that. Killington Peak is coming up in a few days. That's a 4,000 footer. So getting back into the uh, mountainous areas, um, which I'm kind of excited about. However, one thing that's a downside about that is in the whites, there are uh, a lot of rules about stealthing, and there's not too much available from what I'm reading or from what I have read. So I think... I've probably mentioned this before. I think I'm going to grab a sleeping pad just in case I end up on the ground at a hut or somewhere to shelter. That'll be alright. If I really need to, I can use the hammock as a little netted bivy. Still pull out the sides with my trekking poles and get the net off my face. Shouldn't be a big deal. But I'm yeah, not looking forward to carrying a pad again, even if it is... 80 something miles to the whites. The AMC makes sure uh, that the sites cost money, which I get. It's probably a big pain in the butt to maintain them. I think it's like 10 bucks a night or something like that. I'm hoping to be in and out of there in five days with a with maybe a town stop in the middle of that. So two and a half, two and a half kind of thing. See how it goes. Okay, made it to the I'm going to assume it's Glastonbury Shelter. Uh, almost to the top of Glastonbury, not too much farther left. This is the hill we've been climbing pretty much all day. So I just set my pack down for lunch, and man, I screwed up royally. So for those that have been wondering, these little pack wings right here, let me eat a little ramen. They're doing great at providing some extra cushion. These are custom made just to me. Usually, there's another attachment point right up here. Similar to how this is sewn right here. There's another one up here, and the wing comes down this way. So, I have one of the earlier packs, and Chris had made this, the owner of Light F, Chris had made this custom for me. Well, I kind of tightened it down a little too hard, I think, at some point, and I got a hole starting. So, uh, this is not a Light AF fault. I just want to 
make you guys aware of that. This is this is definitely my fault. I'm tightening these belts up too much, and like I said, I don't have the updated one where I have the extra support loop up here. So uh, I just called Chris <laughs> frantically because I'm not sure how much longer that's going to last. I know I'm going to be in Rutland, Vermont in a couple days. I was seeing how fast he could make me a pack. Now, there's a lead time, obviously, so i got to wait, but... Uh, I think he's going to kind of speed me along as, uh, you know, because I'm on the Appalachian Trail right now. So uh, that's awesome. Uh, what's not awesome is I'm going to need a new pack. I'm not having good pack luck. But again, it's not a light AF pack fault. That is a, that is a frozen fault right there. So I'm going to get the updated pack design. Pretty much the same exact options. I'm going to drop the bottom mesh pocket because I don't ever use it. The, uh, it's like for putting snacks in, but the fanny pack works so much better for that. So we'll see what happens. I don't know where I'm going to be able to pick it up. Somewhere in New Hampshire, I'm assuming. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I have the rest of my lunch, and then I just met up with everybody, and nine more miles to camp. Now that I'm looking at it, it might have also been this. This is the strap to the fanny pack. This little buckle right here comes out and attaches directly to the pack. That might have been digging into the fabric as well. So, man, that sucks. Either way, it's my fault, and that really sucks because I've been really enjoying this pack. It's been super comfortable, versatile, durable in every other place except for where I'm having my issue. And uh, I wanted to carry this pack you know, the rest of the way. Now I'm going to have to swap out right in the middle. Ah, darn it. 1927. This was built. Let's uh, head on up. So, started way over there. Actually, might have been way over there in that town. I'm not sure. But this is where we are. We're up in the fire tower. Oh, this is pretty cool. Really windy up here though. And they even say no more than four people up here at any time. Please be careful. I know we just entered Vermont yesterday, but man, the trail maintenance here is. <laughs> I know it's got to be hard, but man, there's just water everywhere. There's trees down everywhere. Um, the views when we get one are epic. Man, they're pretty spectacular, but they're very far and few between. You know, I'm only in the first, let's see, 30 miles of this place, but I'm hoping it uh, gets a little better here. Getting a little view up here. It's funny to me that this is in the sunlight all day long and it's still muddy. <laughs> it's because there's a rock underneath. The soil can't absorb anything, but I just think it's hilarious. Uh, running out of steam. I need some sleep. All right, helpful tip because I started doing this in Pennsylvania when I started getting frustrated. The terrain is super rocky, super muddy here. I'm pretty much blasted as far as energy goes. I'm tired. So when that happens to you, don't focus down at your feet. Don't focus at the terrain. Pay attention to the terrain, but what you want to focus on is this. Try to focus on the scenery outside of the trail. If you do that, you will be much more happy and way less frustrated. So just something I learned in Pennsylvania because and let's be honest, PA is probably the most annoying state on the AT. It's just rocky, it's rooty, it's muddy in times, and you put all those things together, man, it's hard. So just try to focus on over here instead of what's in front of you. Pay attention and don't fall, but just look around, enjoy the scenery. I am pretty sure I'm seeing moose poop. Uh, it's the second time today. I mean, they're like uh, golf ball-sized droppings. It's a big pile of them. I don't know what else.
could possibly make something like that, but I would love to see a moose. That would be so awesome. Female, not a bull. Well, I don't see any moose. I figure if I was going to see one today, this is where it would be. Hmm. Not that far to camp now. All right, made it to camp about 5:15. Just had dinner, filled up a liter of water. A beautiful stream, or I guess spring, right behind the shelter. Black flies are out and about in full force. Kind of the first day we have to deal with them. I think this continues for quite a while. Anyway, gonna wait for togs to pass and then say goodnight. Togs, where are you from again? I'm born and bred in Alabama. Oh, okay, thanks. You going to sleep? Yeah, good night. Alright, have a good night. Alright, good night everybody. See you in the morning. God. Good morning everybody. On the trail way before 7. Black flies kind of forced us into our shelters really early last night, but on the trail now. Um, I was uh, answering comments last night and I realized that there is something wrong with my YouTube app, or perhaps Chrissy is uh, reading comments from home, which kind of are marking them as red. I ha I'm missing a lot of comments, so if I missed you, I am so sorry. I, I will try to get back to you, uh, but I can't go through every video individually. Like I have this app called YouTube Creator Studio, which any vlogger out here needs to have to be able to answer comments. And when I click comments, they're all on a big list, so I can answer right from there. Uh, but yeah, I have three comments on the last three new videos and that means I'm missing like 300 comments So I apologize. I'll try to fix it trying to figure out what's wrong with it But I can't go through every video now <laughs> and answer comments um, I had talked to Chris from light AF yesterday. I was like hey throw me in the queue Let's get a pack going. Uh, you know, I'll charge me later uh, I'll send you a text message with my credit card info as soon as I get to camp he goes, the next message I have after that message I sent him was, hey man, I got you, don't worry about it. Where do you want me to send it? And he sends me pictures of my pack, like <laughs> he made it. Um, talking to him a little bit more, he normally works like a, you know, a nine to five set hour thing every day and, you know, busts out accessories and packs for people. And uh, he did that all day yesterday. And then on his personal time, he made me another backpack like that that is that almost like made me tear up that someone gives a crap that much about my through hike that he was willing to sacrifice his own time to make sure that i'm comfortable and then on top of that he's not charging me like oh my gosh chris like chris you are phenomenal and that's like beyond cottage level support in my opinion right there that is like superman at that point What's the mom good for? Absolutely nothing. Mud. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> moose. Wow. Moose. That is a big, big moose. <sighs> big old moose. Jeez, man. What if we run into that thing today? Uh. <laughs> I hope not. America's going to be up in a tree. All right, made it to the top of Stratton Mountain. Oh, yeah. It's actually really, is there a good view up there? Yeah, man. All right, I'm coming up. Am I? I was like, do you guys feel the wind? Yeah, careful. Thank you. Wow. How are you? How are you? All right. So that's Bromley over there in about 15, we think. That's scary. That's beautiful. Jeez. Uh, pretty cool up there. Now it's uh just don't drop your phone kind of thing. <laughs> oh, hey, Frozen. Hi. What are you doing? I'm just coming out of my little treehouse. Ah, It's got little legs. Sure does. The trail is a lot better today than it was yesterday as far as the mud goes. So we're really happy about that. I mean, it's still mushy, but nothing like it was yesterday. Um, I'm a little worried about tonight. 
or I guess I was a little worried about tonight as far as staying with everybody. Uh, the campsite, like you can look up pictures of the campsites and gut hooks and it just looks like it's a couple tent pads on wooden platforms and a shelter and the rest is kind of just off a cliff. <laughs> And then the next shelter, about a mile later, is just on the top of a mountain in a clearing. And that's not going to work for me as far as a hammock. So I'd have to push a little further or stealth at the bottom of the mountain near the road that goes to Manchester. Just got a hold of one of my subscribers named Josh. And he has offered a ride into Manchester, a ride back to the trail in the morning, a shuttle around town. Uh, we're going to get some maybe pizza. I think definitely going to just take him up on that. I do feel like we're going to hotels way too much, but you know what? As long as we're making the mileage, I really don't mind it at this point. I love camping. I love being in my hammock, but I also love a real bed as well. And it doesn't bother me as long as I am making the miles, carrying the weight on my back every day. And, you know, we aren't really messing around when we get in town as far as, you know, blowing money and everything. Uh, especially if you split a hotel four ways, you take a $75 hotel, split it four ways. Everyone gets a bed. You, they just have a bed mate. That's all. And it works out really well. We're super comfortable with each other. And, you know, it, it's not that costly, to be honest with you. So, yeah, we're going to have a good night tonight. Get back on the trail tomorrow. Uh, at this point, we might skip Rutland and head to Killington. Maybe go to the Yellow Deli for lunch. And maybe get converted. Who knows? We'll see. Holy cow. Stratton Pond. <laughs> this is definitely going to be lunch spot right here. <laughs> Look how many black flies are around togs. I, <laughs> that's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> They're all over your uh, what, jumper. Welcome to Vermont. It's kind of hard to stop for any extended amount of time, even if it's to film something. At this point, the black flies are just all over you as soon as you stop moving. Cogs, you know that song, Walking on Sunshine? Yeah. Kind of the complete opposite of that mm -hmm. song? Yeah. This is my bags. We had about a mile and a half of road walking, which was phenomenal. Who says that on any other trail except for a Vermont trail? <laughs> that is beautiful. Yeah, it was a dirt road, but man. So, do we think that's Manchester down there? I think so. That's my guess. Manchester Center. Can Manchester Hotel, that would be so swell. We'll be Take right us away from hell. We'll, we'll be dry and warm. Prospect Rock. Now why didn't they put that down here? <laughs> As this day progresses, I'm kind of glad we're going into town today even more. Uh, me, Lucky, and Togs, we're all just dragging. I'm not sure if it's the heat or the bugs or what's going on with us, but we're lacking some kind of nutrient. Uh, we're going to eat a whole bunch of veggies and fruit when we get to town. Uh, I'm going to get a whole bunch of uh, just protein and uh, pizza and just anything that I can get my hands on to be honest and uh, you know Marika is doing great today he's been kind of running circles around us all day he gets to a road he waits uh, we come up to him and he takes off sorry there's just those black flies are everywhere swarming me uh, we're drinking enough we might be lacking electrolytes at this point but we will fix that in the town All right, so we're in Manchester. Josh picked us up. I went to Outfitter, got everything that we needed here. Um, except for insoles, so that sucks. <laughs> I'm just gonna have Chrissy send them with my backpack. I uh, just got done having pizza at the pizza place. What you doing there? Sending your backpack. Thank you, Togs. You're the best. <laughs> Did you decide to use my floss or actual string? Nice. So Togs is a licensed surgeon, by the way. Just FYI. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that though. Made it to the hotel. Settle down. Full breakfast tomorrow at 7.30. Back on the trail. Josh is gonna bring us back tomorrow morning. Anyway, 
Hi everybody. Hopefully the backpack holds up a little bit longer. See the light.